Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be discussing how I practice my nade spots so that I'm ready to use them in a competitive environment. I'm going to be talking about how to set up your own server, how to set the right config variables and how to automate that process. I'm also going to be talking about several binds that I find effective, including quick switching and jump throws, as well as practice binds such as giving yourself weapons, nades and armor and using no clip. I hope you enjoy the video. So first things first, um, I'm going to talk about the two config files in the description of this video. The first is the server setup.cfg and the second is the autoexec.cfg. So the server setup is the one that you're going to run when you start your server. This is going to do things like give you infinite ammo, show you the grenade trajectories, stop any bots, uh, all those sorts of things so that you, could, you don't have to type any commands in when you start the server. And the auto exec is basically a couple binds that I use when practicing, such as no clip and this guns one that just gives you weapons and all the nades. But also two binds that I use in game. So the first is the quick switch and the second is the jump throw. And I'll go into these two um, later on in the video. So now I'm going to show you where you need to put these config files. So what you need to do is open up your Steam library, then go to Steam Apps, Common, Counter Strike Global Offensive, CSGO and then CFG. In here you're going to put your auto exec file and your server setup file as well here. So you just drop both of these inside this folder and that's it, you're done. So next you want to open up the game and then enable the develop console and you can do this by going to options and game settings and then finding enable develop console near the top and changing it to yes. So you can open this console by using the tilde key which is the key underneath escape on your kill keyboard that's going to open up the console window here and then you can start a server by typing map followed by a space and then the name of the map you want to play like dcache. So this is the part where we're going to start using uh, the config files that you can get from the description of this video. So first of all we're going to use server setup to set up the server which will give you the um, infinite nades, it will give you the show impacts, um, all those sorts of things. Um, so first of all hit continue and then pick uh, a team you want to play on, I always pick terrorists. Then open the console with that tilde key, type exec exec, followed by server setup, and hit enter. So the game's going to restart a couple times, and then this is going to be you all set up. So you've got uh, your show impacts, um, everything that you need um, from the server setup. So the next thing you're going to do is open the console again and type guns. So this bind's going to come from the auto exec, and this is going to give you an AK, it's going to give you all the nades that you need. So you can see like uh, the nade trails are now on. And that, so you can see where they go. And then you can also use uh, no clip to just fly around. You just tap the key and it's going to turn it on, it's going to turn it off, whatever. Um, so that's that's basically the server setup. So now you can just start practicing your nade spots. Um, pick one that you, that you want to practice and then just play around with them and see how they go. So you can see how these two work out for you. See if you want to tweak them a little bit or if they're fine and then you can play around see how... Uh, what sort of angles you can see based on where the smokes are, maybe see what the enemy can see based on the smokes, and, and just go down that route. So finally there's a couple of binds that I put in the auto exec. The first is the quick switch bind. So you'll see if you try and throw a flashbang and then try and throw another one, it's going to switch to your AK to start with. So you can actually stop that and get back to the flashbang by hitting Q. And that's going to switch uh, to your previously used weapon, and then back to uh, back to you have to press it twice. So it's going to switch your previously selected weapon, and then back to the one before that, the previously previously selected weapon. So it's for the flashbang that's going to work with you. Throw the flash, and as you throw it, the flashbang's still selected for a little while afterwards. So you hit Q once, it's going to switch to your AK like this. Uh, sorry, it switches to your knife, and then you hit it again, and it's going to switch back to your flashbang. So. The quick switch bind I've included is basically a one key solution to this. Now it's not, it's obviously not a big time saver, but you can use it with things like the AWP as well, or, or whatever grenades you want. So you can throw a flash, hit the key once, and then throw another flash. And you can see like that's a lot faster to throw them than if you tried to throw the flash, and then wait for your AK to come out, and then try and throw another flash. It's a lot faster to use, to use uh, either last inventory or the quick switch bind that I've got in the, in the auto exec. So the second uh, binds that I've put in the auto exec are binds for actually switching to particular nades. So for me, if I want to get a smoke out, I hit V. 
Some people try and, and, and push four three times, and that's a lot slower than just hitting B. So you can see in this example, if I wanted to say I had a teammate, we wanted to smoke off mid, I could smoke mid and then switch to a flashbang straight away and throw it. And that can be done through the use of these uh, V for a smoke, um, mouse two for a flashbang, four is always going to be a grenade in this sense. Um, so those are the binds that I include for those. And definitely, I mean, experiment with the keys that you that you use to push them. I always find a flashbang on my mouse is the easiest because it's I use it when I'm in the most startled situation, say if I'm counter flashing or whatever. So it's always the easiest and the quickest for me to press. But play around with the keys that you use um, for your for these nades. But I definitely recommend having a key bound for each nade, at, at least for smoke and for flash, if nothing else. So the final bind I have in the uh, auto exec is the jump through bind. And this is where you get a nade out and you hold down mouse one. And then you push, rather than having to jump and then throw the smoke at the exact right time, you can just hit the jump through bind and it's going to throw the smoke perfectly every time. So you can uh, you can do these smokes and they're going to basically land perfectly every time like this. And you don't have to worry about when to jump and when to throw or, or anything like that. The jump through bind sort of takes care of everything for you. So that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed the video and good luck with learning your nade spots. Subscribe for more CSGO videos, comment if you have any questions you'd like to ask or knowledge you'd like to learn, like this video if you found it useful, and follow me on Twitter for updates for myself and for my channel. Thanks for watching.